Here today we have one of the updates of all time. Probably a controversial one among being a good one, among being a bad one. It's crazy. It's complicated. I don't know what to say. Today let's jump into it. It's the 1-1 one, one maintenance and event notice. It's going to be a three hour downtime. It's going to bring you the one and only controversial Meliodas. It's that, that's the new name. It's not God Meli. It's not, you know, Demon King Meli. It's controversy Meli, dude. 10 out of 10 name. Pen and pending. Moving forward. <laughs> Let's see this festival together. It's the 2024 Fez. Uh, New Year is here. Uh, first off, happy New Year to everybody. Hope you guys all have a wonderful time. Hope you guys just, you know, have a great year. 2024 is the year for you. So enjoy. And uh, hopefully it is a 10 out of 10 year uh, when it comes down to it, right? But with this entire content here, uh, we have a New Year 2024 Festival Draw. Chapter 29 is officially unlocked. Wish Artifact Draw, the True Awakening unlocked for the new content, which is the Demon King Battle Purgatory. We also have a check-in event of 300 diamonds. Who will receive 1,000 diamonds? We're giving away a total of 7-7. Seven, seven, I'm not going to say that, but yeah, that, that entire amount of diamonds. And then again, Diamond Perks event kicking up also with this entire thing. We have Meliodas floating on in with his wonderful, wonderful design. Beautiful. We have UR Meliodas. Remember, you are ready. Brand new uh, attribute. Let's go, baby. Or uh, rarity. Yes, it is a rarity because now these characters are considered mastery or some. There's like stupid terms all over the place, but that's what they are. Again, skills over here kind of know about this stuff already. Chapter 29 at the end and beginning main quest have been added. Enjoy the story. Go and cry and get emotional. Uh, new costume sets are kicking up. We have the three costume sets for Meliodas. They all look uh, beautiful, correct? We have Gilgamesh slash Super Saiyan. Depends on what you want to. Say it as. Yeah, it depends, right? People keep saying my comments is Gilgamesh, but hey, who knows, right? True Awakening system is finally unlocked. A great system, by the way. Moving forward. <laughs> you imagine? Uh, moving forward, we have this over here. It's going to be requiring, again, 10 LR coins. Three of these coins, which is a basically, I think, 20-somewhat. Uh, I forget the number. I don't know exactly what it is. Is it 36? 12 each, right? I think that's what it is, but 100 of these, which, oh, my God. Listen, listen, listen. I don't complain. I do complain. But I complain a lot. All right, let's 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 just make this clear. This sucks. <laughs> Dude, I've opened up a bunch of these chests, and I'm just, like, sitting on giant and fairy materials. And I'm trying to build, like, unknown and, uh, you know, demon, right? But because these do exist in the pool, it dilutes the rate. So, you know, it's, it's a gotcha within a gotcha, but it's in a gotcha, right? So, there is that. There is that. Um, beyond that, you can exchange True Awakening coin at King's Material Shop or Coin Shop by using Super Awakening Platinum or Gold. There are seven memory crystals for each race, and you can obtain them in the PvE content Demon King Battle. This entire content over here, you can open this one again for free for the first time. And then once you open that, you can then use this one by paying a essay coin or whatever you know coin you use. Remember, how it works is you get one per week. So you do this, it counts as your one per week, one per week, right? Then here you have to pay to get into this one. So if you want to do hell first week, you got to use a full-blown uh, dupe. So who the fudge thought of that one? But to unlock this mode, make sure you've reached this part in the story. Uh, push there now. I have a bunch of guides on the channel if you get stuck in a boss. So check those out. Moving forward. Uh, you can keep on uh, repeating by, again, using coins, platinum, gold, silver, or collab. The Demon King imposes three rules to the player. I'll do a guide on this. It's very actually simple. Uh, it's just annoying. It's simple, but it's annoying, right? I'll get through it, though, with a guide. Uh, this is extreme over here. This is hell over here. Um, again, people keep saying like, dude, just farm extreme is that much easier. It is much easier, but remember your reset goal is you have to pay an SA coin, right? Uh, being right here by paying that SA coin, is it worth it? Or again, okay, I keep saying SA coin, but a uh, dupe, right? Is it worth it? Cause you're basically one dupe is half of what you're getting here. So it's a, it's a risky thing, right? You want to be able to do hell. Uh, that's like where the big benefit is, you know, in my opinion, but beyond that, we have relics over here, decrease allies, uh, damage taken by 3% up 30% for every debuff applied to the, uh, enemies if the allies are seven deadly sins heroes included the secondary slot all allies participating in battle have their uh, basic stats increased by 15 percent increases all stats for the hero by 10 percent uh one of the greatest relics of all time right here dude wow 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 absolutely cooking marble uh net how, how dare you cook so much uh with this also at the coin shop right again these are the characters we're never gonna get new characters in the coin shop uh because you know you are rarity exists now so Clearly, that's never happening. Uh, new Knighthood boss battle kicking up. New Diamond Shop over here. Uh, more more Diamond Shop stuff if you're willing to purchase anything. If you're feeling a little, uh, a little, uh, I don't know, lavish. I don't know. You want to spend money? Go for it. <laughs> Have fun. Uh, the new buffs are in, right? So 17.5, 18, 18.5, 19, 19.5, and 20. If you're pushing high amounts of that, uh, do keep that in mind that that's going to be there now. 
Uh, they also increased the base capacity over here to 140. Uh, they also did 550 over here. And they also did 200 legendary seals at a time, which is huge. So you can basically stock up two units worth. Uh, though we get one unit every like three months, there's no point to. Right now, instead of now, you know, focusing on a character, you have to focus on the new content, right? Because you don't want to sit there stocked up where it's going to be like the amount of their like LA, uh, LA, LR coins they're giving away for free you're going to be capped constantly and constantly. So you have to be pushing this new content to continuously be spending those LR coins because you don't want to remain capped. It's going to like be a massive L for you, right? They also went and they gave us a, you know, a bunch of GP points depending on how many uh, costumes you have in your box. So do keep that in mind. Uh, there's new upgrades for that, but uh, pretty cool stuff, yeah. So beyond that, there's welcome back missions if you are returning to the game. Uh, that being one, you are pendant, which you need nine more. Nine more to... Uh, to uh, full up uh, your uh, your new character. Great job, Navarro. Moving forward, we have the True Awakening coin, which is again 12 coins. So I was right about that. Uh, or four of these, or 60. 60 of these. So you need 180 gold coins. 180 gold coins to get one of these. Or to get a, a full character. <laughs> I keep messing this up. 12 of these to get a full character. That is insane, dude. They cooked. They absolutely cooked. New draw animation, which is the summon animation for Demon King Meliodas. Keep that in mind. We have a new festival check-in event. Again, 300 gems and 300 SA coins. Keep that in mind. Special missions are here. Make sure you are aware of that. Free multi and 10 more gems on the side. Remember, this update's about 420 gems for free for everyone, so keep that in mind. Bunch of extra rewards over here. Lucky draw, raffle, whatever is back again. A chance for 1,000 gems. A chance for 1,000 gems, which is wonderful. Again, will you win that? No, but you could. You could, right? If somebody wins it, DM me. Right? I need to see a screenshot. Beyond that, we also have this over here, which is the uh, rerun of the Eskimo event. Go play it. Enjoy the story. Um, it kind of makes it more worse that you have to go through the current story. And this story, it's uh, emotional. Emotional, all right? So, good luck, good luck, good luck, all right? There's these two things over here. There's this stuff over here. This stuff over here. Again, for each of the stages you clear. Uh, boss battle's back with Artifact Wish Gotcha. Remember, that's there. Lucky Bag is also back. And some gems. So, take care of that. Uh, four of these over here, and then in the exchange shop, LR coins, 20 of them. This over here. When we get the second boss, we might get 20 more. I think that's the case. Uh, these two cosmetics are back also. Uh, and then a bunch of other rewards on the side there, which is always welcome. Artifact Wish Gotcha is kicking up with a bunch of card sets, so do not mess it up. Have fun and grab the card set you need. There's a lot of good card sets this time. So again, make sure to do that properly. Underground Labyrinth Season 8 is also kicking up, so a bunch, a bunch of content. Uh, kicking up at one time, which is kind of crazy, but that is how it's uh, being done, correct? So again, pretty cool stuff over here. We do have um, Underground Labyrinth, 30 Stamina, whatever, whatever, basic rules. Uh, this one is like not the easiest, dude. This one's like mediocre to me. I didn't see it as extremely hard, but was not easy by any means. Uh, 30 gems over here and all that stuff. Um, we have the new costume for Hell, uh, costume rerun over here and a costume rerun over here. I'm pretty sure JP didn't have that, or I missed it. So all three we ran. Wow, that's actually cool. Uh, this stuff over here on the side. So 10 gems and 50. 50 LR coins. It's 10 out of 10. Bunch of more gems over here. Bunch of other stuff over here. Keep that in mind. Uh, gem over here for the um, the dungeon. So also keep that in mind. Uh, you have to spend 900 gems to get a cosmetic piece. W devs. Let's go. You're absolutely cooking. Uh, 20 gem discount over the uh, for these cosmetics that are returning officially. Um, so keep that in mind also, which is good stuff, right? It is good stuff. So again, they could have charged for this, but they chose not to. So. Hey, hey, we got to give them credit where credit is not due. So beyond that, <laughs> we have this over here. The rest of the exchange shop. Remember, you're going to be exchanging for a lot of these. And uh, you can't exchange for pendants. So, you know, you just have that basically, right? So have fun with that. Beyond that, we have all the other events that are kicking up. Uh, basically, it's just very mediocre stuff. Lucky bag event is also kicking up. Um, but again, you know, it's, yeah, if, you, if you're lucky, you get stuff there. Uh, this is kicking up again. So again, make sure you uh, purchase what you want right now. This is coming back as a reset. Make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure to purchase the 31 gem worth of it for 36 pendants. Trust me, you'll, you'll thank me later. It's going to help you, okay? I get it. 30 gems, go, go. It makes no sense. Well, who's stupid now? <laughs> Clearly, it makes a lot of difference as they've made it where you have to go and have a lot of uh, pendants now, right? So again, keep that in mind. Uh, they did buff these two events over here, being Fort Solgus Roulette and the free draw. So if you want to go and uh, get a little... Uh, yeah, I don't know how to say that. If you want to... <laughs> 
<laughs> attempt these, try it. Uh, it's an extra reward here and there, an extra gold coin. Remember, you need 180 gold coins, so if you want to do it, you can. Uh, also, the battle event, and that's basically it for the entire events over here for the uh, you know New Year's festival, right? Big event, big thing. Community's kind of mad right now, but hey, at least we have some stuff to enjoy with. Melios is here. Uh, don't let that distract. Again, there is uh, stuff going on. Boycott as you will. Do as you will. Do what you want. Uh, I think that if you are free to play, I still my advice stands. It's not incorrect. Uh, your you know gems don't matter. You're free to play gems, right? Remember, if you're spending, and you want to boycott. You don't spend. That's how you do it. If you want to also boycott, you let them know on you know Discord, Twitter, uh, like spam your opinion everywhere on forums and everything, and let them know, right? So that's the best way to do it. Do what you want though. And yeah, that's been it for me. I'll catch you in the next one. Have fun, stay safe, peace, and enjoy. Just wanted to share with you the patch notes. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty big update.